Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and to the continuation of this budget camper van build. In today's video we're going to be swapping out these front seats. As part of the plan for this conversion I wanted to have single seats up front. So there was a walkway through to the back. We're taking the trouble to remove the bulkhead. So to make full use of that I think it's better if we get rid of this double seat at the front here um, and then just make it more usable. So after a lengthy search on the internet, it's really, really difficult to get hold of single front seats, particularly for these type of vehicles. If you're lucky, you might be able to find one at a breakers, but you'll still be paying serious money, three to 400 pounds for something that's really filthy dirty and probably got a few rips and tears in it. So it's been difficult to find something. I mean, you might even be able to look abroad because ideally, in a perfect world, if you had a left-hand drive vehicle and you managed to get hold of the driver's seat, it would have the armrests in the right place and it would be a perfect swap out. But again, they're really difficult to come across. So I put a few messages out on some social media forums and actually it was one of the members of the self-build group that contacted me lovely lady called Amy that we've met before at the South Central meetups and she's got a van which has got two single seats but she would like a van with three seats because she's got two small kids so it's a perfect scenario and I can't believe our luck to be honest she wants to swap our seats for her seats and it's not going to cost either of us any money so yeah it couldn't have fell into place better than that to be honest obviously we've got a little bit of a trip to do today because she lives in South Wales so we've got about 270 miles to drive to Amy's but even factoring in the diesel costs it's still far cheaper than me trying to buy one off the internet so we've got about five hours to get to Amy and then when we get there we'll show you how we're going to swap these over So we've made it down to South Wales after about a six hour journey and a little stop off for lunch. Nice to see you, Amy, again. Yes. Hello. <laughs> and this is Amy's van. It used to be called Serendipity, but I know if you've changed the name. Haven't yes, you? I have changed the name. So Seren is Welsh for star. Oh, so that's why I've chosen to move the dippity from the end. I like dippity, but it wasn't, it didn't fit in with what I wanted yeah, it to sure. be. So Seren is uh, Welsh for star. So I've got to get some star decals and make it all nice, nice and pretty nice. and stuff on the outside. Yeah. So that's just to let you know, this is a Citroen Relay, 2015 Citroen Relay, so it's a bit younger than our van, but like all of the, the Relays, the Boxers, the Ducatos, they're all very similar in terms of the body and the seat should be an identical swap out. So Amy's got two single seats, you can see in the cab, we'll just show you there. So we're going to take these two singles out and then put our single and double back in here. All right, drink my tea and then get stuck in. <laughs> so the seats on these models are held in by two big bolts, 19mm bolts at the front, there and there. And then at the back, it looks like, if you, can, you can't really see in there, but it looks like a Torx head bit, but you don't actually need to remove those because as I'll show you when I take it out, the rear of the seat is just held in there so you pull the seat forward those bolts stay in place so it's just a case of undoing these two here and if you've got a van which has got seat belt tensioners there will be an electrical plug that you need to disconnect as well make sure that the van is in uh, and the ignition's turned off so there's no supply on otherwise you'll get error messages come up on the dashboard So 
case of just lifting the front a little bit, push the seat back and then lift it up and out. As easy as that. <laughs> so this is our double seat and you'll notice that it's got the same two bolts at the front to hold it in and the rest of the seat is just sort of cantilevered off of that single seat base. So there isn't any additional mounting, it's just those two bolts. Now different models of these vans come with different specifications. So ours has got seatbelt pretensioners on the seatbelt buckles. So this yellow clip at the back of the seat is what's wired to those pretensioners. So you need to disconnect this, just pull that plug out. Make sure that the van hasn't got the ignition on, otherwise you'll get some faults. And then what we're going to do, because Amy's van actually hasn't got this on the passenger side. So we're going to take our seatbelt pretensioners off this seat and put one back onto Amy's seat and then replace the ones on this seat with some standard belt buckles. So then Amy's got two front seat belt buckles and everything will comply to an MOT. There'll be no warning on the dash or anything and it will all be safe. Now that it's out, you can better see that cantilever arrangement for the second seat. So it's still only a single base, and then this side is supported off of that single base. Right, there's just three Phillips screws. Hold this plastic cover on. Just undo those. And there we can see this is the seatbelt pretensioning device. So there's like a little explosive cartridge there that's triggered by these two wires. And when you have a crash, this will obviously trigger this device. There's a cable that goes around the pulley in here up to the seatbelt buckle. And when this fires, it pulls the seatbelt and tightens the seatbelt. So that's how they work. So we're going to take these ones off this big bolt here. And then we're going to put those other seat belt buckles on this seat. So this is the buckle that we're going to put on this seat when it goes back into Amy's van. So this will give her a standard belt buckle because she hasn't got the cable to connect to the pretensioners. This was the bolt that came out of there. I'm going to put some new thread lock on here. All of these should have a bit of thread lock on. And that applies to the bolts that go in the floor as well. And that will just stop that from coming undone when the van's moving around. That's it, I'll do that up. I'll do that up nice and tight and then we'll replace the plastic cover. And that'll be ready to go back in. Make sure that's nice and tight. That's it. Cover back on. Use another pair of hands.
just need to take this seat belt reel cover off. There's a one single posi drive or Phillips screw just underneath there. Remove that and then the cover just pulls down like that. And then that gives me access to this bolt which holds the other seat belt buckle on. And we need to swap that out. So on the belt reel on the back of the seat in the middle there's a single bolt that goes right the way through. On one side it holds the buckle for the seat near the door and on the other side it holds the belt for the second passenger seat. So you have to make sure obviously when you put it all back together we're going to put the new belt buckle on this side but we need to make sure that we've still kept hold of the belt for the other passenger seat on this side. So the nut that holds the seat belt for the second passenger, the one nearest the driver, has got these prongs, these four prongs, and there are slots cut into the back of the seat that these locate into. So when you put this nut back on, it holds the seat belt. Make sure that those four prongs are located in the seat before you do it up. So then we've now put Amy's single seat in our van and it's just a reverse of the process of taking it out. Locate it on those rear posts and then push the seat forward. A new bit of thread lock on the bolts and then drop those in and then we'll just make sure that they're tight when we do them up. So the driver's seat is exactly the same process. Basically just the two big bolts at the front um, and then it's just held on on those lugs on the back. I've disconnected the seatbelt tensioner because Amy's van does have a seatbelt tensioner on a driver's seat. So what we'll do is we'll swap her one over for our one on the two seats because this is a newer model and a different manufacturer. So the software, the technology may be different, it may not, but to avoid any problems, I'll swap the seatbelt tensioners over anyway and then she'll have her own one back and we'll have our one back and there won't be any issues. Now on these vans the handbrake is on the door side of the driver's seat it's not in the centre console like most vehicles and it's attached to the seat with these three Torx head bolts so you need to undo these three Torx head bolts obviously the handbrake is attached to the cable and also there's a handbrake sensor there as well so I don't want to disturb any of that so I'm just going to disconnect this bracket the bracket's exactly the same on our van and then when we swap the seats over I'll do this back up onto the new seat and vice versa in our van. Now what I've done is I've taken Amy's seatbelt tensioner off of her van because hers is uh, 2015 and ours is, uh, well the actual seatbelt tensioner says 06 so it's about nine years older. So the technology may have changed slightly. They have got diff slightly different model numbers, although physically they look identical. So just to save any problems with us plugging it back in, I've put Amy's seatbelt tensioner on our driver's seat. <laughs> that will go back in Amy's van. So when we plug that in, it will be compatible with her system and there won't be any issues. And vice versa, I'll put our one back on Amy's seat to go back in our van. Hope you can understand that. <laughs> Right, I've got our seat in Amy's van. I'm just going to put a little bit of thread lock on these existing bolts and then wind those back in. And then all that remains then is just to re-clip in the seatbelt tensioner. It was Amy's seatbelt tensioner anyway. So there'll be no issues with it uh, sort of talking to the van okay. No error codes, it'll be perfect. Uh, 
That's it. We'll just torque them down. I will tighten them up properly with a torque wrench to the manufacturer's stated ratings. Yeah, and this is all good. So there you can see on the passenger seat in the Fiat, we have managed to reuse our existing seat belt pretensioner. I've managed to bolt that onto the chair there. I'll replace the plastic casing there in a minute. So that's all good. That does mean obviously that we have got one more of the seat belt tensioners plugged into that little socket there. And I'll just explain what we're gonna do with that. Now I did a little bit of research on this and there are some forums that suggest that you can buy a little resistor um, to replace these seat belt tensioners. You unclip the seat belt tensioner, put the little resistor in its place and it should mimic the resistance that this seat belt tensioner is telling the van and kind of fool the vehicle into thinking that it's still connected. But I purchased some of the little yellow resistors and tried it and when I turned my van back on I was getting this seatbelt warning light come up on the dash so they didn't work for me so I'm not going to be able to use that as a solution but I think all I'm going to do is this additional seatbelt here I'm just going to bundle up the cable quite safely and then I'm going to pop it into the toolbox which is underneath the passenger seat or alternatively I may cable tie it directly to the bottom of the seat there's um, like a wire mesh that the foam sits on so I could actually cable tie it to the to the floor of the seat or just leave it in the toolbox which I probably will do that to be honest as long as it's plugged in the van's going to work perfectly all right we've got both the seat belt tensioners on both the fitted seats so in case of an accident they're going to work perfectly as they were originally designed so it's all compliant and it's all going to pass current MOT so I'm really happy with that so there we go now with these two single seats we obviously have a means now to get through from the cab easily into the back of the vehicle with no problem even with my slim figure <laughs> quite easy and uh, yeah it's going to make a world of difference so anybody using this van can just hop from the back into the front jump in the seat and away you go you know if it's pouring down with rain outside you don't want to step outside the vehicle just going to make it that much more usable so yeah I'm really pleased with that I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do give the video a thumbs up because it really does help the channel don't forget subscribe because you'll be able to see the rest of this build series when I put the next videos out do leave me a comment in the comment section below if you've got any questions about this build series so far and it just remains for me to say thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video cheers